The two sides wrapped up what they called intensive diplomatic negotiations here at the U.S. State Department. A lot at stake. Both Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State, and Kang kyung wa his South Korean counterpart, said that they want to push for denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula, something that would be irreversible and also verifiable. Asked what that meant, Pompeo said that they want to have a deal in place where, quote, the United States would not end up back in the same place where they had been before. All of this comes about a month before U.S. President Donald Trump is set to meet with Kim Jong-un in Singapore to talk about bringing peace and stability to the Korean Peninsula area. Uh, when asked what they talked about today, they also talked about the May 22nd meeting between South Korean President Moon Jae-in as well as Donald Trump. Secretary Pompeo and I discussed preparations for the summit meeting between President Trump and Chairman Kim in Singapore on June 12th. We agreed that the summit would be a historic opportunity for resolving the North Korean nuclear issue and securing enduring peace on the Korean Peninsula. Both Kyung Hwa and Pompeo said that punishing economic sanctions are going to remain in place for the foreseeable future. A reporter at the news conference asked Pompeo, who pointed out that he had probably more contact with Kim Jong-un than any other Western diplomat, if moving forward, he thought that uh, Kim Jong-un was irrational in any way. Pompeo said it was an undignified question, and he had had very warm, very good negotiations with the DBRK and vowed to help the economy of Pyongyang if a deal could be reached. If North Korea takes bold action to quickly denuclearize, the United States is prepared to work with North Korea to achieve prosperity on the par with our South Korean friends. The United States looks forward to continued close cooperation with our South Korean allies on this issue and many others. What about the issue of U.S. troops in South Korea? They've been at the DMZ and in South Korea for close to 65 years. Will that come up in the negotiations? Both uh, sides here today said absolutely not, that that is a decision that will be made between the Republic of Korea and the United States, with uh, Kang kyung wa saying that having the U.S. troops in South Korea had been a deterrent over those years, so that's something that the United States and Seoul will work out in the future. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Washington.